This section covers the programming of the Watts Floorstat model 500650 for 120 volt wiring. Set the time and day. When you first turn on the thermostat, the display shows normally a time, day, and the current floor temperature. Set the day first using the day button. Then set the time using the hour and minute buttons. Programming set points. This thermostat comes pre-programmed with common set point temperatures. A comfort temperature, pressing the sun button, a setback temperature, pressing the moon button, and a vacation temperature, pressing the suitcase button. You can change these at any time by pressing these up or down arrow buttons to show the temperature you want. Then press and hold the sun or moon or suitcase button until the symbol is displayed. This will hold your new temperature setting in memory. Set the programming. Press the program button and the first thing you'll see is a cycle 1 symbol at the bottom. This display shows that at 6 a.m. on Monday, the thermostat will begin warming the floor to the comfort temperature shown by the sun symbol. You may adjust this time by pressing the hour or minute button if you like. If you want this same time for all days of the week, simply press and hold the day button until you see all the days displayed above. Press the program button again and you'll notice a cycle 2 symbol at the bottom. Here it shows that at 8 a.m. the thermostat will let the floor temperature drop to the setback temperature shown by the moon symbol. Pressing the program button again shows the cycle 3 time when the floor will begin warming up to the comfort temperature. And pressing it one more time will show cycle 4 when it will drop again to the setback temperature. When you're finished, press the mode return button to exit. Auto Manual Override. Pressing the mode return button until you see the clock symbol displayed puts it into the automatic mode. Here it shows we are in cycle 4, which means it will keep the floor at the setback temperature programmed earlier, unless it is already warmer than this. You can also temporarily override the current program by pressing the up or down arrow button or the sun or moon button. This set point temperature will be maintained temporarily until the next program cycle begins, and there are four of these each day. If you would rather operate the thermostat manually, pressing the mode return button again puts the thermostat into the manual mode shown by the hand symbol. Now you can use either the sun, moon, or suitcase buttons to warm the floor indefinitely to those set point temperatures, or use the up or down arrow buttons for quick short-term adjustments. GFCI test. This thermostat has a built-in protection called a GFCI. Make sure these heating bar symbols show on the display. You may need to press the up arrow button until it is a few degrees above the floor temperature. Then press the test button. The display should not change, including the heating symbol. But the red warning light should come on, indicating that power to the heating system has been shut off. If you do not get the red warning light, Turn off the power to the thermostat at the circuit breaker, or at least turn off the thermostat and call your supplier for assistance. To reset the thermostat, slide the switch to standby and back on. Backlight. This thermostat now comes with a backlight. Pressing any button will turn on this backlight for a few seconds. Or you can press the long bar to see what's happening. Except for a brief test, don't put the system into full operation until the cement materials are fully cured, which may take 72 hours to 28 days, depending on cement manufacturer's instructions.